Hi everyone, hope you're all safe and well. I've got an unboxing to do and I have never seen a package with so many goddamn labels on it. I count, apart from the one on the end that you can't really see, seven labels on that fascia. Uh, right, this came from Hong Kong. I'm quite excited about this. So I'm as excited as anyone to get a look at this. Let's cut it open and see what we've got inside. And as you can clearly see, apart from the protective layer of the black, it's almost like a rubberized material. This has got thick card on it and these plastic corner protectors. Really well packed. I'm quite impressed with the packaging on this one. Let me get this cover off and see what's inside. Okay, so that's what's in it. It is a Top RC Hobby 750mm series aircraft. Question is, which one? Those of you who follow my videos could probably work it out because you know what I've got and what I haven't. But let's go through it. So the Corsair. I've actually got a Corsair. I've got the FMS 800mm Corsair. Hurricane. I've got one. In fact, the Hurricane that you can see on that image, the top left of the Hurricanes, that is the Hurricane that Hobby King sell with the orange stabiliser in it. Then we come over to the Mustang, the blue and silver Mustang, Moonbeam McSwine. I have that one and that is the one that Hobby King currently sell with the orange stabiliser in it. So by deduction that leaves one and absolutely correct. The one I have is a T34 Mentor and it is the top left blue one. Now we know what it is Let's get it out of the box and take a good look at it. Okay, so that's what it looks like inside. Let's take a look. So we have a top manual, top RC hobby manual, and it looks like it covers all of the aircraft type. All four of the aircraft type. Yeah it does look. Mustang, Corsair, Hurricane, T-34, Mentor. Uh, okay, so it's got details on how to do the Mustang, the Corsair, the Hurricane, not really interested in those. And here's the T-34. That's really just pages 6 and 7. But it's uh, exactly the same as the Hobby King ones. We'll just put that over there. So here's the wing, take that out of the bag. It's a very deep dark blue. It's got these wing fences here. It's got a little part here which I think would have been a light. So I will paint these the appropriate colour, red and green. I like the way the horn cover plate has actually been painted over so it doesn't show. And it's quite glossy actually. <laughs> Decals are stickers, they're just stuck on. It looks alright. Here's the underside. You've got your horn. Clevis pushrod servo and they're top servos as well there. Branded top. Got your wiring here pushed into a groove. And here's your undercarriage plates where you push them in and just screw them in place. There. Got the wing. Yeah. It's the same as I believe the Sky Raider is because it's got these two little wooden pieces here which lock into the fuselage like a tongue and groove system. 
and then it's got a single screw that goes through here to bolt it on. Yeah, quite nice. A little bit of a dihedral on it, so it should fly well. Yeah. Put that down there. All right, I ordered a spare prop, and the prop comes with the three separate blades. Now it's yellow tipped on the back, but on the front it's got the red and white striping, which is uh, nice, a nice little touch. As it turns out, I didn't have to order a spare prop because these are exactly the same blades that all the others use. So the Mustang, the A1 Skyrailer, the Tempest and the Hurricane all use the same blades in their props and they all connect the same way and have the same screws so I didn't really need that I didn't know at the time so that's why I ordered it and the spinner but I did want a new spinner a replacement spinner and that's what that is now I ordered some other stuff from this supplier from Hong Kong and I got it minus two items and they actually said in a note that they were short. I ordered three of the particular items, which is the new FMS Reflex, the programmable reflex stabiliser. So they sent one, I'm waiting another two, and because of that they sent me a battery tester, one of these things that you plug into your plane and if you're flying and the battery drains too low it bleeps, which is quite a nice little thing. But they also sent me another prop, <laughs> three blades, for a prop and the hub as a spare and this was given to me as a gift which is nice so I have got tons and tons of spare props not only for this but for all the others okay what have we got here All right, this is the vertical stabiliser and rudder horn already attached it is foam hinged it looks pretty good interestingly enough these two lollipop sticks as I call them bits of ply push in and then you screw them into the fuselage exactly the same fitting as the hurricane exactly the same so although this is branded top RC hobby it's obviously made at the same factory in the same way as the other 800mm aircraft, such as the Hurricane. Because that is exactly the same method of connecting. Yeah, it's quite nice. It's all painted dark blue, dark navy, with stickers. Yeah. Here it is, the horizontal stabiliser and elevator. It's foam hinged. Single horn with a metal rod connecting it to this plate with two screws holding it in. I might add a bit of glue in there, but it looks good. Here are the two holes, the two slots, where the vertical stabiliser goes. Here's the vertical stabiliser. So you can see it just goes in like that. And this would be in the fuselage now. This is keyed into the fuselage. And you just put two screws through, which holds it all in place. Mm. That's quite nice. It's very dark. And the first thing that I notice is that it's going to be hard to tell the top from the bottom. So what I might do well, a couple of options. I can see if I can get these stickers and if I can, the replacement ones, I will spray the whole underside of this a light colour. If I can't, I will use a tape possibly on the inside here or I might just spray it and forget about these I don't know, but it has to be a different colour because that's crazy. And I've actually seen a video where I think it was someone in Nitro Plains when they were selling it, 
was doing a flight demo and he lost orientation and it just smacked into the ground. Okay, so we have a little goodie bag with some screws in it. That's obviously the wing screw. Oh yes, and there's some screws. I call them servo screws, but they're screws with a pressed out washer on the head. There for holding the undercarriage down. We've got two of those. And then there's a couple of other screws. Big chunky screw and some very thin ones. I think the thin ones are for the vertical stabiliser. And we'll find out when we do the build. Got two packets of bombs. All painted dark blue. Uh, here's the thing, I could paint these bombs a white. I could paint them white. And they are numbered, they've actually got a number one, two, three and four on them. But if I paint them white they will show up against the dark coloured wing. So that could be a solution to my orientation problem. The wheels, the undercarriage. This undercarriage is identical to all the other 800mm wingspan aircraft I have. In that it is a metal loop that just plugs into a slot. That loop plugs into a slot and then you have a screw hole and the washer on the screw traps it in place. Even to the point where the wheel's held on with a little C-clip. Yeah, two nice little wheels. And I know the size is okay. They take off on the grass once it's been cut. Can't stop this camera focus on the background rather than what I've got in my hand. So there they are. There are the wheels. Quite nice for a little 800mm size aircraft. And here we have the fuselage. Look at that! It's one aggressive bird. Now this should be called Sharky McShark Face. Not my flying shark. Rah. These are exhausts. <laughs> Bloody hell, look at those. <laughs> Three-bladed prop. We know how that works, each blade is separate, screwed onto the back plate of the spinner and then the spinner is screwed onto the back plate. Now somewhere here... Oh, I can't find it. There should be a little hole for the motor release. I can't see it, can you? Hmm... It's normally a little hole with a grub screw. So that's interesting the fact that they are missing. Hi everyone this is a last minute addition into this video so I apologize that the scene isn't set so to speak. But I'm looking at the T34 Mentor and it really bothered me the fact that in this video I could not find anywhere where you put an allen key to free up the motor so you can replace the blade if you break it. And that's been bugging me. So I've had a real thorough check, look round. <laughs> and don't laugh. Please, please don't laugh. But this is what I found. Ta da! This bottom piece is held on by two magnets. And in there, you actually have your screw which releases the motor which means you can move it out <laughs> to undo it. But it's also, I notice, it's got a grommet here. So it might well be that there is just a shaft going into the motor. I don't know, I'll have to take a look. And it's a uh, 1300 kV motor. It's a DST 1300 Outrunner. But look at that, would you believe it? I did not notice that. Mind you, you can see it was stuck on with the paint. But yeah, that's how you get out your motor if you break your prop. And do you know what? I think I could possibly be the first person on YouTube to show you that. Because all the other 
750mm series T34 Mentor videos I've seen. No one has shown you... Wait for it. Let me get my hand out of the way. That. And that just... Clips in. Clips in. Just magnets in. It doesn't sound right, does it? It's just held in there by magnets. So let's get back to the rest of the video. These I'll have to paint black because they should be air vents. Fake air vents, but I'll paint them black. A little nose wheel. I'm not sure that's on the right way. I thought that should be on the back. I'll have to check. But anyway, it's on there and it's steerable. Yep. Take a look down the fuselage. All looks good. Here's the wing saddle. And what happens is there's the ply board where the two ply bits from the wing engage into there like a tongue and groove folds down and then you put your screw in through here and it looks as though it screws into a piece of wood put two bits of wood here ply with the servos this obviously is your rudder and steering servo this is your elevator servo yeah very nice this is where the tail connects And the decal is covering the hole here for one of the screws and then it's covering the hole there for the other screw. So I just have to cut that so I can push a screw through and that will hold the two pegs down. Yeah. If I've got my aircraft right that this was based on the V-tail Bonanza. The Beechcraft Bonanza, so I hope it flies better than the Durafly one. Uh, and the military wanted something to use as a trainer. They approached Beechcraft, but they wanted the tail as a normal tail rather than a V-tail. They also wanted two cockpit positions. No pilots, that's a shame. It would look nice with a couple of pilots in there. This comes off. This is where you stick your battery and your receiver. JST connector. Now this is supposed to use 1000 milliamp 2S, 7.4 volts. But I've seen these flown on 3 cell batteries. So I'm going to try it on the 2 cell. And if that's not quite as I think it should be, I'll put a 3 cell in here. Uh, nothing's labelled here, so you just have to work them out, but it's not hard. There's only three connectors, for goodness sake, uh, at this time. And then you, you feed through here your aileron connector. Uh, now, I'm thinking I might put a gyro in here. I might take the gyro out of the second Hobby King Hawker Hurricane I've got because those orange stabilizers or those orange gyros that come in the 800 millimeter range they're not specific to the aircraft they're just a standard stabilizer therefore if I put one in here take it from the hurricane put it up in here it should work perfectly I might even look at somehow removing the canopy and putting some little pilots in there Yeah, it's a good little plane. Might paint this white as well, the underside. Just so I've got some delineation between top and bottom, because at the moment there's nothing. <laughs> it's all the same colour. And you can't put black on this, because you just won't see it. That's which way does this go? I think the aerials, yeah, the aerials. No, is that the right way? It's hard to tell. No, that's the right way. So the aerial's a bit further forward. Yeah, these grills point backwards. 
Yeah, it looks pretty good actually. I like it. Now what I don't know is if these props were originally yellow because as I said they're the same props for the Mustang which had yellow tips and they're the same props for the Tempest and the Hurricane which have yellow tips and what they've done is they've just coated the front. It's actually that looks like a sticker and that's why this is yellow almost as an afterthought. <laughs> well I like the mouth, I like the shark teeth. I don't normally do this but I'm just so tempted to. I don't want to break anything. There's your tail, not quite a hundred percent but There's your wings. Yeah, I'll definitely take the orange stabiliser out of the second Hawker Hurricane I've got. It's just sitting in the garage in a box. I checked with Hobby King themselves and they've said all of those orange stabilisers are the same. They do not have them programmed specifically for the aircraft. Put one in here. Yeah, I like it. I'm so tempted to build this. But I won't, not right now, because it's a Christmas present that's going to go back in the box and I'm going to open it up at Christmas. So thanks for watching, stay safe, stay well, have a great Christmas. I hope 2021, the new year, is better for everyone. And I hope to see you on another video. Cheers.